We're here today at the Bald Rock Cemetery. I'm not sure if it had other names. I've heard people call it Delph. I've heard people call it uh, Brewer Delph, Taylor. I've heard several names for the old cemetery. And we've, uh, we've come today to uh, set another marker for a guy. We had to look around for him for a little while. Chester, Chester Brewer, he was a friend of my grandfather's lived from 1890 to 1973 and this old temporary plate's just been sitting here for well since 73 mom was born in 73 she's 49 50 years man so um we've got a donated uh, my cousin bob sparkman donated the money to purchase chester a uh, a marker and we're going to set that here today a lot of old graves here, Bob. Yeah, I went, of... through, I went through and looked all the stones back up, raised them back up and stuff. Yeah. Went through a bunch of them up through there. Raised yeah. Them back up until they set up. This man could spend a day out here working on uh, oh, yeah. some of these. I'd love to know who some of them unmarked graves is right there, man. It's just got the rugged floodstones on them. Yeah. You and me both. Be awesome, my brother, man. So we're going to try to bring a little honor to Chester Brewer's grave today. I want to thank uh, Bob Sparkman for purchasing this. Chester. Hey, you want to grab one? Huh? Yeah. Well, we've done a little digging here and a little rock base underneath there and Place it right up against that old white marble piece. I think that's gonna look good, what do you think? It's gonna look real good, brother. Just stink for a long time, maybe. We'll dress that up. What are you gonna do with that? Put it right back on top of that? Yeah. No. Just for prosperity's sake this, was, here, this is laying on top of the uh, of this area like yep. this when we first come here yeah doug we'll, found it over there. we'll put her back down there for old time's sake i don't know much about chester other than he was my grandfather's friend and supposedly lost his wife who was from over around mount victory in childbirth Probably an event changing moment for Chester. Because I don't know that he ever remarried again and Dude, wrestled with his demons. I lost, one, I lost my daughter, man, her life, and it about fooled me. So I can I about imagine what he's going through. Yeah. I mean, when you got kids and stuff like that and you can't see them, it's, it's hard on people. Yeah, really it is. Good. It is. Let alone when they're gone for good. Yeah. Well, we're going to dress the. Chester's grave site back up here and shift some of this dirt back around. Call it a day. Well, in uh, 48 years later, Chester's got him a marker. This should last a while. That's a granite marker made from uh, markeverygrave.com. It's 26 bucks plus the cost of a paver from Lowe's and some liquid nails and a little bit of gravel makes a very respectable marker for Chester. This old metal one stood the test of time but it's just sort of sitting here and that always worries me when they're sitting loose. So what do you think? It's good bro. Chester in like March it. of 2023 will have been gone 50 years, so he's been gone over 48 years now, Brian. But Mom was born in 72, and she, she's 49, so yeah, been right at 49 years. Here we go. Thanks, Bob Sparkman, my first cousin. I want to thank him for sponsoring this one. He paid for it. How old is Bob? Bob is... 
in his 70s. 70s. He's uh, the son of my dad's sister. But he uh, he's interested in some of these things we're out here doing. So he donated the money to buy Chester. So he remembers Chester. I don't I don't remember Chester. Here at the Bald Rock Cemetery. I think Chester's wife, who died much, much earlier, I think she's buried over at Mount Victory. Probably buried with the uh, the, the story that I heard, she died during childbirth, so she's died over at Mount Victory. Yeah. There's, a lot of, there's a lot of women that died during childbirth back then. Yeah. When a baby's born, a woman's clinging to death anyway, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, that's true. That's and true. that would have been, Lord, Brian, uh, that would have been, what, 1820s, 1830s? Yeah. 1820s, likely. Mortality rates were very low for children, and a lot of times it would take the mom out, too. But that's always the story that I was told. Is Chester's life took a say not, depressing not, turn. I say it probably was in 1920s, 30s. Judging, judging by him, because he's born in 1890, and by 1920 yeah. he'd already been 30 year old. Yeah. Well, we looked that up, and Ida May Bolton Brewer was his wife. She died at the age of 24 in 1920. So we were we were all over it. What? Well, it had to been, we said 1920s, 1930s. He would have been, yeah, he would have been about 30 year old. Yep. Died. That's about what I was thinking. So, I, to my knowledge, Chester never, never married again. I, it life sort of threw him a curveball, you know, when he lost his wife and his child to be, and like I, said, I man, think I he probably uh, he fell to. Uh, fervent drink you know he was known to be that guy like i said man i don't get to see my baby girl dude he can he can he can do a lot of stuff to you yeah Just leave it at that. yeah yeah but uh well, good little memorial here for chester nice little way to remember chester thanks for your help man yeah no problem brother i'm glad to be doing this for them you know what i mean yeah Absolutely. These people up, so. Yeah. It's mainly about. It's why I do. We know it's why I do what I do. You know. Take care of these old places and stuff like that. These is old people at one time, too. That's right. Paul Drunk Cemetery, out here in the middle of the Daniel Boone Forest. 100 years and we're all dead and gone. We can just hope somebody take care of our graves in some manner. Amen to that, bro. Well, <clears throat> job done, Bald Rock Cemetery for Chester Brewer. We appreciate uh, Bob Sparkman for his donation toward this project. Another job done. Appreciate your help to my buddy Brian Maxey. All right. If you know of any that need to be done or one you'd like to donate to, just get a hold of me. Chester Brewer. Rest in peace, bro. Yeah.